am Pastor Carrie from Peace Lutheran Church in Beaver Creek, Ohio, and I am so glad that you have joined us this Christmas Eve, or maybe Christmas morning, so that we can continue to explore the mystery of Christmas. We have been in Advent for four long weeks because it takes that long to prepare for the mystery of Christmas. This is Bethlehem, and we have all been on a journey to Bethlehem. Advent. In Advent, what we see is that everything changes. It is the color of blue because the season of Advent is about getting ready. And blue, it is a color of waiting. It is the color of the sky just before dawn. It is the color of Mary. Mary who is waiting for her child to be born, getting ready for a special child, for a king. Not like the kings that we might think of, with a castle and horses and knights. No, a king who will be born as a baby in a barn. This is the card of the prophets. This was a card we looked at on the first week of Advent. You see, the prophets, they know the most important things. They are the ones who know the way, who show us the way who say, stop, watch, listen. They are the ones who point the way to Bethlehem. This is the card of the Holy Family that we saw on the second week of Advent. You can see here Bethlehem and the long road leading to Bethlehem. This is Mother Mary. And this is Father Joseph. And this is the donkey. They were on the way to Bethlehem, and Mary, she was, oh, so very pregnant that it was so uncomfortable to walk all that long way. And so when she thought she couldn't make one more step forward, she would climb on the donkey and she would ride. But you know, Riding on a donkey when you are so very pregnant is uncomfortable. And when she thought she couldn't ride anymore, she would climb down and she would walk. And so Mary, she walked and rode and walked and rode all the long road to Bethlehem. I imagine that they were probably very slow, probably the last people to come up the road to Bethlehem. This is the card of the shepherds. We saw this card on the third week 
of Advent. This is a shepherd. And this is a sheep. And the shepherds, they were outside of the city of Bethlehem, watching their flocks. You see, they would stay with their sheep to help protect them from any wolves that might come and try to get the sheep. And one night, as the shepherds were out in the fields with the flock of sheep, there came a bright, dazzling light in the sky, so bright that they could hardly see. And then among the light, there appeared angels. And the hearts of the shepherds, they were beating so fast. And when they could finally hear again, they heard the words of the angels. Do not be afraid. Which only made them a little more scared. You see, angels often come and they often tell us do not be afraid, because it is very scary when a messenger of God comes to you. But the angels, they were singing in the heavens. They were singing, do not be afraid. We bring tidings of great joy, peace on earth, goodwill to everyone. A child is born. Go, hurry, run and see this child who will change everything. This is the card of the wise men. We saw this card on the fourth Sunday of Advent. These are the three kings, or wise men, or magi. They came from far in the east. They were considered to be so wise in their countries that sometimes they were thought to be magic. And in fact, the word magic comes from their own language. The word magi, wise men. They knew so much, but they knew most about the stars. They could read the stars in the heavens. When the stars came to their place, they would know to tell everyone that it was time to plant. And when other stars were in their place, they would know that it was the right time to board a ship and take a trip in the ocean. And when other stars came to their place in the sky, they would know that it was the right time to pass through the high, high mountains because they knew that the snow would be not too deep. But then, then they saw a wild star, a star that was not on any of their star maps, a star that did not stay in its place, a star that traveled here and there. And they decided to follow the star, to see wherever it might lead, 
to see whatever that star might be trying to show them. And they followed that star all the way to Bethlehem. But they had to travel so far that by the time they arrived in Bethlehem, the child had already been born. It seems that they are always late. Every year they arrive late after the child is born around January 6th. But we include them in our story because they, like us, are on the way to Bethlehem. This is the light of the prophets, the ones who show us the way. This is the light of the Holy Family, the ones who are on the way to Bethlehem. This is the light of the shepherds who go and see the child. This is the light of the wise men, the ones who follow the wild star. Let us enjoy the light. Look, the mystery of Christmas has come, and it has changed everything. It has changed the color blue to the pure color of joy. This is the card of Christ, the one who is the mystery of Christmas. The one who we have been waiting for. The one who we have been getting ready for. You know, of all of the creatures, that were gathered at the birth of Jesus. The one who I think was the most surprised was probably the cow. In the morning, the cow would have gotten up to go and eat his breakfast. And as he was peering over the manger, which is where his straw was kept, he found a baby. There had been a cloth spread on top of the straw. And the cow just looked and looked at his feeding area, which had become a bed. that we are maybe missing something. This 
the light of Christ. This, this is the mystery of Christmas. I wonder where it is that you will find pure joy this Christmas. I wonder if you will look with big, big eyes at the Christ child as the cow looks Christ child. Let us enjoy the mystery of Christmas. It is time to change our light. The light of the prophets is in just one place, but now it fills the room so that wherever we go, we can be with the light of the prophets. And the light of the Holy Family is in just one place, but as we change the light, it fills the room. And wherever we go, we are filled with the light of the Holy Family. The light of the shepherds is in just one place. But when we change the light, the light fills the room. And wherever we go, we are close to the light of the shepherds. The light of the wise men, the Magi, is in just one place. But as we change the light, it fills the room. And wherever we go, the light of the Magi, the wise men, goes with us. the light of Christ the mystery of East, the mystery of Christmas the light is in just one place but watch as I change the light the light fills the room and it can be hard to see that light as it becomes thinner and thinner as it fills the room. But we know that the light is still there. We can feel the light of Christ. We can feel the mystery of Christmas as it fills the room and goes with us wherever we may go. Thanks for joining me for another godly play as we have worked our way through the season of Advent and as we have now explored the mystery of Christmas. May the light of Christ be with you wherever you may go.